Hi, my name is Andrea. For those of you in the ACF, you may know me as PSI Pearson from C Company. I've been putting together some videos that are beginner yoga and meditation. And for this one, I thought that it might be a good idea to do some chair-based exercises, as I'm sure a number of people are now finding themselves sitting a lot longer than what they previously did, whether it's because you're doing work or school at home, or you could be spending more time sitting on the sofa watching TV. And so these are just a really short basic exercises that you can do throughout the day to be able to help to make sure that you don't stiffen up or that you get any kind of joint pain. For this, you'll need to have a chair. It doesn't matter if it has arms or not on it. This one doesn't. So if you do have a chair that has arms on it, just make sure that it's at a height where you're not going to whack your elbows as well as if it has wheels on it, make sure that they're locked in a position so that you don't find yourself moving around while you're trying to do your exercises if possible. You also have to be mindful that if you're doing this at a desk, that you don't have any, anything underneath your desk, that if you put your leg out in front of you, you could potentially kick something, whether it's the wall, the leg of the table, or maybe some files that you have that you keep underneath your desk. These exercises can be done once every hour or so, ideally, if you have the time and feel as if you can take that time to do that throughout your work day, um, because there's a lot of benefits to it. And a number of them you can continue to do even while you're working, so then it doesn't take away from your work. All right, so to start, you need to make sure that you're sitting up nice and tall with your feet placed firmly on the ground. So if you're like me and relatively short, that will mean that you'll have to sit a bit further forward. You may want to then roll your shoulders back to be able to help keep your alignment so that you're sitting up nice and tall because you have a tendency of being hunched over at the desk. So just take a moment to roll your shoulders back and you should feel your chest opening up and that you automatically start to sit a bit taller than what you would normally. And we're just going to start from some exercises down from your toes, working our way up to the top of our head. So really simple. You're just going to take a moment to wiggle your toes, point them down to the floor, lift them up to the ceiling, nice and slowly. No need to do this quickly. The slower you do it, the more benefit you get from it. So doing one foot, and once you've done that a few times, Place your foot back down on the floor, lift the other foot slightly, and take your toes and wiggle them, pointing up to the ceiling, and then back down to the floor again like you did previously. Nice and slow. Good. Then place your foot back down on the ground, lift your other foot, and now you're going to just extend your leg just a little bit. You can keep your leg bent, point your toes, and then flex your foot. And point your toes and flex your foot and you should start to feel a nice stretch along the front of your leg as well as working with little joints in your toes and in your ankles. All right and then just do some very small slow rotations of the ankle in one direction and now in the other direction making sure you're still maintaining sitting up nice and tall throughout this. Good. Placing that foot back down, lifting your other foot, and again, point your toes, flex your foot. And you do this a few times. Lovely. And then mini circles, nice and slow, in one direction, doesn't matter which way you choose to do it. And in the other direction. And place that foot back down on the ground. Now we're going to place our hands on your knees in front of you. And as you breathe in, you're going to arch your back, bringing your chest forward and looking up. And as you breathe out, you're going to arch your back towards your chair, making a nice arch. So I'll just turn to the side so you can see what that looks like. So breathe in, arching your back here, bringing your chest out forward. Breathe out, 
curling your back, bringing your belly button in towards your spine. And again, breathing in. And as you breathe out, curve your back. And breathe in, arch. We'll do this one more time. And breathe out. Good. Now come back to seated nice and tall. You're going to take your right hand and place it on your left knee. Your left hand and place it on the back of your chair. As you breathe in, come nice and tall. And as you breathe out, slowly start to rotate. And the last thing to turn will be your head looking either just to the side or towards the back. And you hold that for a few breaths. And then on your exhale, slowly start to rotate back to center. And you're sitting up nice and tall. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Just take your left hand, place it on your right knee, your right hand on the back of the chair. Take a nice deep breath in, sitting up nice and tall. And as you breathe out, slowly rotate so that you turn towards the back of the chair. So you're going to hold this for a few breaths. And then slowly on your next exhale, rotate back to the front. For this next exercise, you're just going to have to sit forward just a little bit. You're going to clasp your hands like this behind your back. And as you breathe in, stretch up. Again, I'll show you what this looks like by sitting on the side of my chair. So you have your hands clasped at the back of your hands, or the, sorry, at your back. And as you breathe in, come up. You should feel a nice stretch along the front of your neck and across your chest and feeling as if your shoulder blades are coming together. And if you want to add a little bit to this, you can slightly raise your hands up and this will help deepen the stretch further. And then release, coming back to a nice, tall, seated position. So we just do some gentle shoulder rolls. We start with going backwards. Really feel those shoulder blades coming together. And then rolling forwards. That's good. And we're gonna do some gentle hand exercises and demonstrate quite slowly to start with. So you're going to stretch your fingers out nice and wide and then you're going to make a fist with your thumbs on top of your fingers and stretching your fingers out nice and wide and your thumbs inside the fingers. I'm going to continue to do this. We can start by doing it relatively slowly. And the idea is you work up to being able to do it as quickly as you can. All right, and this stretches out the fingers and it doesn't look like much, but it's actually a lot more difficult to do when you're not used to doing it at first. All right, when you've done that, you shake out your hands a little bit. Good. Now using one hand to help stretch your fingers back so you just feel a slight stretch in your wrist area here so that this shouldn't hurt. Just a gentle stretch, pulling your fingers back a bit. And then the same thing, pressing down. Don't hurt yourself, don't force this. Just go as far as what is comfortable for you. And again, stretching those fingers up. And one more time on this hand, pressing the fingers down. Good. And you can do the same thing on the other hand. Pull the fingers back slightly. Feel the stretch within your wrists and pushing down on the top. 
off with your hand. Again, stretching that. Come back. And one more time. And then just back down. Good. And just give that a nice little shake. All right. So you can sit a little bit further back in your chair as long as your feet are still planted firmly on the ground and you're able to sit up nice and tall. So now we're going to just do some gentle stretches of the neck. And um, it may be helpful if you want to hold your hands underneath the chair. What we're going to try to do is bring your right ear towards the right shoulder without raising your shoulder. So if you place your hand underneath your chair, that will stop that temptation. So just take a nice deep breath in. And as you breathe out, slowly tilt your head for your right ear to head towards your right shoulder without lifting that shoulder. And you should feel a nice stretch along the left side of your neck. And then come back up to a neutral position. The same thing on the other side. Take your left ear towards your left shoulder without lifting your shoulder. And you'll feel a nice deep stretch along the right side of your neck. Just hold that for a few breaths. And then come back up to center. You're going to look towards your right. Back to neutral. Look over your left shoulder. To neutral, tilt your chin towards your chest, taking your gaze down. Back to neutral, and slightly tilt your head up, taking your gaze towards the ceiling, feeling the stretch through the front of your throat, but be mindful not to crunch your neck. And back to center. So we're going to do that sequence all over again from the beginning. So take a nice deep breath in. Slowly tilt your right ear towards your right shoulder without raising the shoulder. And back to center. Take your left ear towards your left shoulder without raising your left shoulder. and back to center. Take your gaze over your right shoulder. Back to center. Take your gaze over to the left. And back to center. Tilt your chin towards your chest, taking your gaze down towards your feet. and back to center. And finally, taking your gaze up towards the ceiling, being careful not to crunch your, the back of your neck and feeling the stretch through the front of your throat. And back to center. And that is it. And if you're able to do that once every hour or so, it will really help to maintain a number of the small joints and to make sure that when you do get up from off your chair, you're not feeling quite as stiff as you otherwise would have. All right, I hope you enjoyed. Take care.